And away from that, Professor Peter Mbithi, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Nairobi, has shoved any claims that the prestigious university is facing a major financial constraint that may bring it to its knees. Responding to allegations made yesterday by Kenya University student organization KUSO leaders during a press conference where they accused him of being corrupt, incompetent, and incompetent of, in contempt rather, of court orders, Mbithi has termed the claims as personal attacks. The University of Nairobi is not in a financial crisis. We have put in place measures to cushion the university from getting into a crisis. I think in addition to a statement, it would have been good for him to table the finances Finance, of yeah, the university yeah, because records. I have seen many instances where leaders of institutions, whether public or private, come out to rubbish claims made against those institutions, but a year or two later, it turns out to be it true. It turns out to be true. So I think one step forward for the good uh, professor there, please. But I also don't. Uh, he's not obligated to table the financial statements. Fair of enough. The university, so, but in a world where perception sometimes is greater than, than the reality, reality just have. open the books. Yeah. If you have open nothing to hide. Open, okay, like <laughs> Miguna asked about the server <laughs> on Wednesday when you when you are here.